My name is Beverly D. Brudaney. Good health is a well-planned journey, and let me tell you about mine. I've been practicing total body rehabilitation and functional movement for over 55 years. I'm the first declared personal exercise coach in Toronto, dating back to 1984, providing one-on-one -on -one service to individuals in the home or office, and fitness for the links, that is fitness for golfers. I am a 78-year-old woman who was born with congenital conditions, primarily a spina bifida, lumbar 3 to 5, upper back scoliosis, unequal and unbalanced hips, leaving me with both of my legs misshaped, misaligned, and two different lengths. Throughout my life, I've had to cope with a variety of body challenges, including excruciating pain and incapacitation. Yes. I know first-handedly what it's like to be confined to space for prolonged periods of time and to be in a body cast and a wheelchair. That being said, I've been blessed with a rewarding and interesting life. I say, a journey endured, but a life well lived. My body has always required maintenance, that is high maintenance, and more so with aging. In the recent past, I was shoved down a staircase. I grabbed the railing to prevent myself from going down head first, but the extreme shove twisted my entire body, primarily my lower back, the right side, hip, knee, and ankle, resulting in a questionable hairline fracture in my right hip. I was in agony. I was a bird in a cage. My regular rehabilitation techniques were excellent, but not enough to get me out of this horrible crisis and pain. I needed something more, so I went searching. I consulted my doctor and a couple of orthopedic specialists for advice, but no one came up with anything worthwhile, other than to compliment me on my achievements to date. I was told I was a walking miracle. I needed help, not compliments. I was searching for a needle in the haystack. Medication was suggested, but my body does not tolerate any medication whatsoever. I knew I required extra physical assistance, so I was forced to think out of the box to find a way to heal my body, to take control of my life, and to become functional again. This is where the late U.S. President John F. Kennedy comes to mind. He said, some men see things as they are and say, why? I dream of things that never were and say, why not? The impossible is possible if you believe in yourself and God, and I do. Crisis forces you to think out of the box. In other words, see what all see, but think and do what none think or do. And I did just that. I was at a birthday party, saw balloons, and I came up with the idea to use balloons as an aid in exercising and physical therapy. And the balloons have served me well. With the balloons, I created revolutionary, safe, simple, sequential, and effective techniques, movements which can be done in a lying, sitting, or standing position. These techniques not only upright the entire spinal column and neck, but reinforce and strengthen the core of the body. These exercises are most complementary and compatible with the body. I credit the balloon program, which I created for allowing me to achieve the results I needed. A trademark application has been filed on my behalf, declaring myself as a balloonologist, that is, the first person to use balloons for exercise, physical rehabilitation and therapy. I'm also in the midst of preparing a balloonology marketing program. My goal now is to demonstrate these specific exercises to the medical profession at large. I strongly believe that many individuals can benefit from these exercises, particularly individuals who have compromised bodies and many who suffer from various congenital maladies like mine along with many seniors and individuals who are sitting for prolonged periods of time, desk, office workers, bus truck drivers, students, etc. We know that sitting is the next smoking disease. We need exercise.
to have healthy bodies. These balloonology exercises are easy to learn, can be done anywhere, anytime. Only a short amount of time is required. It's only your dedication that will make it happen. You don't need to go to the gym. Just do them daily and the rewards will come. My motto is embrace, educate and empower yourself. The balloon exercises also create a state of mindfulness as each movement requires total concentration. So there is an added bonus of relaxation, reduced stress and anxiety. Individuals immediately feel the difference. They know that exercise is medicine. This empowers individuals to take control of their bodies, mind and their destinies. As I've mentioned before, health is a well-planned journey. I've been told that I'm a miracle walker and I'm very pleased as to how I've managed my aging discombobulated body. I'm pleased to say I've had a rewarding, interesting and accomplished life. Prior to becoming a full-time personal exercise coach, I had two previous professions, the last one being Executive Director for Canada for an international firm out of Kyoto, Japan, and that was over 40 years ago, the late 70s and early 80s. I was a woman ahead of her time. I've been blessed with a wonderful daughter, four grandchildren, many friends, and a great community. I'm content with my life. Above all, I've kept myself vertical, functional, and I'm still striving to help others. I will now demonstrate the balloon exercises to you. Your comments are most welcome. I strongly believe the results are nothing less than miraculous, and so many people could benefit from them. If you'd like to try these exercises, please feel free to do so. I will guide you accordingly, but I cannot assume any responsibility should you encounter any issues whatsoever while doing so, as you always have to check with your doctor before beginning any exercise program. And may I suggest to be aware of the following. For individuals who have possible allergies to latex, uh, to latex material, also, balloons can burst or deflate suddenly and can be a choking hazard for children. If you wish to benefit from my experience and wisdom, you can book a personal consultation with me. Remember, the body doesn't lie. Depending on my findings, I will then be able to decide what your needs are and guide you as to which selected exercises and or balloon methods can best work for you. Thank you for your attention, and I appreciate having the opportunity to deliver this lecture to you. Thank you. Okay, my name is Beverly D. Burdaney, and I've developed a program, Balloonology, which addresses um, the uh, office worker um, prolonged sitting syndrome. I think it can minimize your uh, problems or in turn prevent it from happening at all together. And it consists of several different mediums, but the main concentration is on using the balloons. And um, I start off by sitting on an armchair. I have a balloon between my knees and I rest my arms on the armrest. So what I do is I position myself well, my head is up, my head is eye level, and in turn, I press into the balloons, press my elbows into the chair and bring myself up, breathe and release. Again, two and release, three and release. I do, depending on how I feel, but I say a minimum of 10 is good, but you begin with as many as you're comfortable with so that you don't hurt yourself. The next step is using additional balloons. Thank you. Which involves putting balloons underneath your shoulders. And again, you just repeat the procedure. Your body's in the same position. You squeeze your knees into the balloons, squeeze your elbows into the balloons, and this brings your upper torso right up and your head is eye level and you should feel the movement right through your neck. And then you can just feel the circulation going to your head. It relaxes you and you feel good. And you just repeat that and at the same time, this uses your abdominals 
so that you feel you're using your diaphragm so you're breathing deeper and it just feels good all the way around. Then the next step is you put the your elbows on the balloon and you just repeat the same thing. Put your knees into the balloon, press your arms, your elbows into the balloons and raise yourself up and breathe, hold and relax. And again, hold and relax. The next step is that I put the balloon, I sit up again, I put the balloon just underneath my chin and I press my knees into the balloon Press the balloon into my chest and you take a deep breath and you can just feel it and release. And you repeat that. Press, two presses and release. Then what I do is that I put the balloon behind my back between my shoulder blades and I repeat the same. I press my knees into the balloon, press my back between, uh, into the back of the chair and press the balloon in front into my chest and release. Breathe and release. And then of course, you can just put your elbows to the side and it's the same thing. Press your knees in, press your head back and press your hands into the balloon and release. And again, just make sure you feel the engagement of your lower body as well and press on the feet into the floor and release. The final one is when you put the balloon behind your head, your elbows are towards the ceiling. You press your knees into the balloon, your back into the balloon and your head into the balloon and just relax and release and relax and release. And you can just feel it stimulating your entire body. And with that comes relaxation, mindfulness, and exhaustion. <laughs> Thank you. Now, it's your turn. Not too, yeah, no, yeah, a little bit further in, but not quite that out. And your feet are underneath your knees, like that. Open your legs, hip width. You're too far in, too far in, like that. Right under. Press here. And up. And release. So what I'd like you to do is press your knees into the balloon, press your arms into the armchair, bring your head up and push yourself up, but press your knees more into the balloon. And right up, breathe in and breathe out. And try one more, press harder through your knees. Press, press here, press here and release. Again, press, press your knees in. That's not good enough. Sorry, uh, mindfulness, there you go. And release. You know, it's challenging to rub your stomach and pat your head at the same time. I know. You're asking me to do three things. Three things at the same time. And that's why it's challenging. That's a talent you have to develop. Well, it takes time. Skill, you know. But you know, I, I'm available to help you out whenever you want. And now, pick, put your arms up and you put the balloons underneath here. Not, yeah, like that. Okay, and it's the same thing. You're going to press here, right. press in, yeah. and your head up. Use your belly and release. Press harder here though. And press here. Bring your torso up and release. One more, press in hard with your knees. Press, 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 press. And release. I think you're just having fun showing my weaknesses. Well, you know what? I these, found these are, these are isometric contractions. I, but you know and you what? Know, it's interesting because in surgery, yes, we're asked to do things for an extended period of time. Exactly, and this develops it's, it's that. Hard, it's hard to to maintain an isometric contraction for five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, sometimes twenty minutes, yes. sometimes two hours. But this will help you. A certain position. So what this is going to do is train me to do that. Of course. I'm going to train my muscles. I'm training them isometrically. So when I use them, when I really need them, when you operate them, yes. it won't be as difficult. Absolutely. Say, two hours, <laughs> performance will be better. Your performance will be better. So, and you'll yeah, be less applies, exhausted. It applies to everything and anything. I agree. There's so many things we don't train for life. We just live. Good health 
is a well-planned journey is all that I'm saying and, and you that, have to do it. And that is what it. people need to recognize is that to live each day you need to maintain a certain level of fitness. I agree. Right? There's no, there's no as we say, there's no um, dress rehearsals. Right? Exactly. Well, like you see, we, we because of the many physical disabilities that I've had, I've had no choice. I chose life. I wanted to participate in life. I wanted to enjoy life. Therefore, this has been a constant uh, learning experience for me and a developing experience because I know what the body needs and not everybody understood what I needed, so I developed it on my own. No, and that's sense. how this came into play from a birthday party. It makes sense. Okay, so we will continue. Now, sit up again straight. Uh, your feet are underneath your knees. I want you to put a balloon behind your back. Yep. Put your hands over here first. Yeah. And you'll press here, press here, and press your back into the chair. Three presses. Got it. And release. And again, press your knees in. And release. And is there one. A certain period of time you think is ideal to. I say it, right? I do the count of one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. So that's about thirty seconds, I would think. Right. Nothing, but you know. A real slow count. <laughs> okay, now, but I, I approximately thirty seconds. So right. you put your elbows up like that. Okay, now press here, press here. Am I and pushing from the side. No, you're you pushing push into your into yeah. yourself first. Right. Press in first and release. Remember, breathe in and breathe out. And one more time. I think that's what you can use for your, your uh, time period. Do it while you breathe in and breathe out. One cycle, probably. Yeah, yeah. Three yes, okay. Okay, and then you can turn, put the your hands on the side of the balloons, bring your elbows up to your shoulders like this. So one press, two press, three presses. Go. Right in and out. In and out. One more. In and out. How are you doing? I think that's what you're doing. Okay. Now, put it behind your head. Grab it. So what you're doing is you're pressing your knees into your balloon, pressing your back into this balloon, and in turn, holding the balloon so that you can press your head into this balloon. And release. Press harder in your knees. That's it. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more, breathe in and out. Well, my knees are shaking already. It uses the body. Yeah. And then the other thing, you know, if you want to do more, you can just put your hands on top of the balloon, sit up straight, and press, your, press down and come up. One, and down. Press, here, here, go. And down. One more and down. That's it. Why not? So I'm saying this is your five minute exercise, if you please, that you can do anywhere, anytime. Yeah. When I had an issue, I even did it in the car. I'd pull over to the side, have my balloons, and do it. No, it's universal, you can do it anywhere. Exactly. Yeah. And it's an inexpensive way to maintain your health. Okay, now. Well, I'll show you what I do next as a rule. Now, I don't know if you are a purple man or a gray man, maybe a green or a pink man, I don't know. This is the lighters, okay? So I use the gray. And what I do, once I've done the chair exercises, okay, where do you want me to stand, Norm? Feet hip width, bend my knees a bit, lock my buns so it's like a stand it's a standing pelvic tilt you can see how you engage your entire body and that's the position you want when you're standing 
So I start off with putting, I say this is the heaviest band of the group, but you can start off with the pink, which is the lightest. I put it above my head and my arms are really along the side of my ears and I bring it to the back of my head like this, up and down. And as you can see, I'm using my entire torso like so. Then in turn, to really get into the back, which you need, is I hold the band at top and at the bottom and I go up and down, up and down. Like I do a total of 50 a day, but you know, everybody has to start at their level and you can see how it works the body. And then I do it here. Same thing. One goes up, one goes down. You maintain your body position like so. And then I do it underneath the chin and behind the head. So I go out to the side, hold. You're like an airplane, nice and straight. Slowly in with the band against your neck. Slowly out, hold. And come back. And you just repeat it. And back. And repeat it. And back. And then I go back to the one on top and just do another 50 of those. Do you want to try it? Sure. Now, Take a test because you don't want to hurt yourself. If that, why don't you maybe start off with open your legs hip width? Okay. Yes. Okay. Do you want to try it out if it's too heavy for you or do you think you'll manage? We'll touch, we'll touch it. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So you put it above your head. Your head is eye level. To the, just no, just to the, keep your head eye level. One to the back of your head and up. Two and up. Use your stomach. Three and up. Don't come forward, stay behind your head and again and relax. How does that feel? Good. Okay, now grab it like this with one hand, drop it, grab it here, make it a little longer. So yeah, right up, but don't, your arm goes along the your ear like this, right up and down. This one goes down at the same time as that one goes up. Stretch your wrist. You no, know, it's all it's hard stretched out. Yeah, that's <laughs> I gotta bend it then. Okay. Stretch. Right up. You see your you need to be able to stretch those elbows. Yeah, that's tennis. Okay, and down. Not an excuse because I play tennis too. Up, right up, right up, and down. Change arms so you don't do overdo it. Mm. Bend and tuck. And right up. Head up though, eye level. One, one nice straight line and relax and again and relax. One more. Good. Okay. Now hold it at the edge just like this, but just don't make sure you don't hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, keep the band along your neck, bend and tuck and out to the side, shoulder height, shoulder height, shoulder height. Make it longer maybe. There you go. And kick. No, but keep the band on your on your neck when you're coming in. Out and stretch your arm. Make it a little longer so you can stretch your wrists. We got short No, no, no. Stretch them out. Stretch it out like this. That's how you want to feel it. And come in. Uh, out again. And in behind your back and do the same thing. Keep it on your neck. You alternate. One stretch. And in, and again, breathe, and in, and breathe, and in. Okay, now you make it shorter again, usually shoulder width, and you repeat like this. Okay, go ahead. That completes the cycle of the band, but not below, to just to the tip of your head, up and down, up like this. And keep your head up, eye level for your head, and up. Keep the tension open, two, and up, and three, and up. Okay, that should do for today for you. How does that feel? No, it's good for my arm. No, you better believe it, but there's more. Okay, now, you see, this is something I, I don't show everybody, I do it myself, okay? You put it like so, okay, if you really want a good stretch. And you just bend and tuck again, and you bring it to the top of your head. One, two, three. I usually do 50. 
just like that. But you see how it works your arms and stretches your entire torso. No, but don't don't use the word stretch because it, it doesn't. It's the one thing it's not doing. You are doing exercises. Okay. And you exercise. You strengthen muscles. Strengthen muscles. Then after you strengthen them, you gotta stretch. stretch. Okay. Don't, don't. That's not gonna stretch you. That's not gonna stretch. Well, I feel it does. You may feel like you're stretching. Yeah. Up. So this is strengthening the muscles. Using, why Thank you. you. With resistance, you're using it as a strengthening. Tool. Then it's a strengthening yeah. tool. So stretch, strength. St stretch, strength. Okay. You see. Strength. Stretch. Thank you. The no, no. Is people don't spend time stretching. It's not fun to stretch. I know. They like to do exercises. Well, this is exercises, and then, as you say, the bonus is is stretching. Yeah. Okay, and then I use two and a half pound weights. You, you're, you may want to use five, yeah. I don't know. Like this is what I do. I'll just give gains like this, slowly. Then in turn, I do like so a few. Mm -hmm. Then in turn, I bring my arms up, go like so, go in and out, and then like so. My arms are shoulder, uh, elbows are shoulder level. Then I start with behind my head like that, and I bring it up until I'm well above my head, and then, it depends on who I'm angry at, I give that real punch. <laughs> and that completes the weights. Right. And um, you can do your bands afterwards too. It depends sure. what, um, how you feel at any given time. And then, that you really have stretched yourself properly, I use this block, and I put it about two feet in front of myself, and I just stretch myself like so. Then in turn, I'll put it just about six inches above my feet and I do the same thing. Just a nice relax feeling and good for breathing. And particularly, it clears the headaches. And then I just stay like that for a little while too. And then I bring it forward and do the downward dog, so to speak. And then get up. Then I finish it off with, again, with my feet, a uh, hip width. I put my hands on my back so that you can see how I literally massage my back. I'm putting my back into my hands so that I'm stimulating circulation through my entire spine as well. That's it in a nutshell. So, how did you enjoy the program? Well, I think the program makes perfect economical sense because you're sitting all the time, you know? Yes. So it's a, it's a perfect opportunity. It's kind of like dead time. And our bodies just exist in our chair and sort of conform to the chair. So it's a way of stopping and all of a sudden saying, you know what? My muscles are doing me a service. I should do a service for my muscles. So while I'm doing things while sitting, I can actually be doubly effective. Yes. And that way doing the exercise at the same time. These are all, the, the balloon type of exercise are really isometric exercises. Yes. There's not really any motion. It is force out, force return. Exactly. Force so just like Sir Isaac Newton pointed out, <laughs> for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Yes. And that's basically what we're, we're seeing here. And for that brief period of time, because we're not doing it for minutes to hours, we're doing it really for seconds. Yes. And that short period of time is more of a relaxing way of doing it. It's the longer you do it, the more effort is required. Exactly. And the more, less relaxation occurs. <laughs> but it so depends on how much time, effort, how much time you want to put into yeah, so it. When you do it for seconds, it's more of a relaxed, atmosphere, a relaxed feeling while you're doing the contraction. And it makes sense. You know, Thank I mean, it, it, it's for anybody. It, it's for absolutely anybody. I can see a, a pilot flying a plane doing this, yes. you know? Yes. The bus driver. But he has to concentrate on where he's flying, too. <laughs> but everybody has a few minutes, a few minute break, oh. and that's when you can utilize breaks this. Breaks or no breaks, even, yeah. even while you're just sitting there. Yes. You know, I say, I've done it while, uh, you know, pulling over to the side of the car and driving. Like yes. You know, that's that's the key is, is uh, you can uh, do uh, more than one thing at once. It's like multitasking. So, yeah. uh, again, it's a it's a great uh, form of program and the use of the bands, again, all that augments it, yes. exercises is going to help. Along okay. so Thank you very much. I appreciate salute it. you once again. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.